Hi, this is Master Pain and welcome to my channel. Let's talk about changes. For now, these are under development, so keep that in mind, things will change. Let's go from top to bottom and see what they are proposing. No changes with the basic attack. I guess they merged it with sharp nails. There is no more sharp nails. Very good change. The absolute sinister energy, no changes. Absolute darkness, no changes. These two skills for now are more of a usability skills. No damage from them whatsoever. So I hope they will focus a little bit on that. Uh, Black wave. This skill got changed a little bit. The floating on first hit. It's kind of nice, but still the damage output, it's not a big deal. In succession tree, it looks very good, but not that much uh, useful. Maybe that floating will be Utilize here and there. I don't know. All right, so with the darkness released dark step got frontal guard uh, so It opens up a little bit more secure disengages. You can link it with dark back step to get that additional frontal 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 guard little change maybe a little good with the Midnight Stinger, the Eruption of Guilt from here was uh, merged with the Midnight Stinger. It's just a cosmetic, not a big deal. The Rushing Crow haven't been changed in the Amulet version, but in Awakening. Juicy buffs, so we'll see that later. Bloody Calamity looks like it was, so... Within the Succession Tree, this skill is much more... Claws of Darkness. This skill got changed a little bit. You cast it with the forward uh, button instead of the backward. They wanted to separate the Dark Flame with the Claws of Darkness. I don't think there was a need for that. And a little buff of casting speed plus 5% for 10 seconds on using the skill. Maybe there's a spot in combos for that skill one hit just to get that buff going crow flare there's an interesting uh, thing going on on uh, the test server that you can't cancel it with the q buff i don't know why but but it's definitely a debuff so if this change makes it i like to cancel things uh, and this is a bummer yeah mark of the shadow I wish uh, they focus a little bit on that. The movement speed debuff is good. Um, I guess the skill should have a little bit more damage in it. Play a little bit of that support sorceress. Shadow Eruption. The buff of magic accuracy rate plus 6% upon using the skill. We use that skill very often on engages, so a very good change. Abyssal Flame. I guess there was no changes. The Signs of Agony, it's another like step into that ranged sorceress and uh, this skill got the speed buff on the projectile so it's very good change because the projectile moved really slow and here it's really faster so it's more like usable. I guess. Dream of Doom, they started to make some changes in this skill i i don't know why <laughs> because they are like doing nothing into the, how the core skill works but they mess up with how it's being cast if you nightcrow after casting it it will cast itself like this let's see if you can cancel that skill anyway without that like oh okay that's that's a bummer so if you cast the skill you're locked in animation until you cast it that, that's a big deal here that one frame there you cannot continually cancel it how about other like midnight singer okay the midnight singer this one this change was good but night crew one <laughs> It's a bummer, alright? This is bad, alright, shit. Most sorcerers do these things. It's like basic combo management, like every one of us can like, hit it faster. The bloody crown track, no changes in it. I wish they changed this skill, make it more usable, because for now it's just that 
weak recovery, very weak mana buff, it's really useless. It should give something more. Sinister Roman is the same thing. The Shadow Kick, the, the Kicking skill and Shadow Riot. Oh, it's a bummer. All right. So they removed stiffness effect from the Shadow Kick and replaced it with floating. For me, it's a big deal because uh, could decide to how you want to apply that hard CC on enemy after stiffness. And now it's only flying on the kick. But they gave the Shadow Riot a really nice interaction. So after kicking, if you hold that F, you're gonna gonna blink to the back and kick with knockdown. A very good skill to initiate combo, but with that flying, floating effect on the first part, this, it doesn't make sense really, so... Of how it works now, uh, they should like just leave the Shadow Riot delayed the others because this, this is good, but this thing, the floating effect on the kick, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe you can uh, use that Shadow Riot after the big kick here, yeah? That's possible. But uh, yeah, big kick gives the bound effect. So there's no control on the hard CCs here. It's a bummer, all right? There are no changes so far on how the Storming Crow, Crow Food works. This Storming Crow, it lacks um, speed, yeah, so it locks you in the animation. This is not what you want on Sorceress. If you have that Night Crow skill that makes you invincible, you don't want to lock yourself in animation with any other skills. No changes with how the buff works, no changes with the Shard Explosion. I guess the Shard Explosion should be buffed. I remember how it worked initially. It was a very good skill to finish people with the damage it output. Now it's pretty average, not a big deal. Okay, the Spirit Absorption wasn't changed. They changed the Dark trait and they merged it with the Shields of Darkness. This changes nothing, yeah, like they only merged two skills. It buffs you for 5 minutes, but you can cast that skill every 25 seconds. I don't know why. Let's see what they propose for Awakening. They removed the, the shard consumption on Shadow Leap, very good. Uh, it was unnecessary to consume that shard, they just wanted us to feel the lack of shards. <laughs> Okay, here I don't recall any changes on this. No changes on the Cardian protection that are... But I don't see any changes in here. Vile Plan. This skill got stiffness and floating uh, with the PvP. It's a kind of nice change. You can start utilizing it within combos. They, they buffed it a little bit. Unfortunately, I can't show you because casting here is broken. I cannot cast it. I don't know why. It's... It's strange, right? That hunt, just minor changes, I guess, with how it's being cast. Relish in the has not been changed. Soul Reaper has not been changed. Grim Reaper's Judgment, no changes. I guess no changes needed. Yeah, so turn back slot, changes are not needed. Cardian's Nightmare, they reverted the change, so. I don't know why. Alright, they added some space here for the skill, but uh, the skill is bugged. I don't know what it is. They are messing with the Blade of Darkness and uh, the Cry of Darkness, how they work. So for now we can't see the changes. Uh, we can read that the Blade of Darkness gets the superior armor. It looks like something new, but I don't know, maybe it's just the same skill with Super armor. The nightmare, no changes within nightmare. And finally, they worked a little bit on the flow on Rushing Crow. They added forward guard into the skill, added some damage, the critical hit rate for 10 seconds, and they extended the range of that skill almost the Shadow Leap. Yeah, so it, you can double Shadow Leap with that skill. Um, very nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to use it 
and some combos. They worked a little bit on Soul Harvest, casting speed for 10 seconds, they removed critical uh, buff from it, down smash and floating on extra hits, um, they changed the casting from spacebar to shift Q. Yeah, they introduce that you can use the floating effect after using Nightcrow. So it looks something like this. After using Nightcrow, the casting the Soul Harvest uh, gets the second hit, actually, not the first one. So the first one is sm down smash. Uh, and the floating is on extra hits and you can cast it from amulet stance if it had like front or guard or super armor this was this would be pretty neat skill to use or so maybe here to the back and boom yeah something like this into some finishers right the skill enhancement tree and as Whistleblow gets the forward guard back, it's a very good change in my opinion. This skill is pretty useful at the moment. You get the knockdown on hits and forward guard, it's better than engulfing shadow. I use this all the time. No changes in other skills. Uh, they should lower the cooldown, the crawl nightmare. This would be a very good change. I hope they do like 8 seconds, I know, 10 seconds even. So for now, these are the changes. Like you see, the sorcerer is not getting that uh, heavy changes. More cosmetics, trying to focus on the skills that are not being used. In my opinion, they should focus on these ranges. Uh, bloody Contract, Sinister Omen, continue working on Rushing Crow and Soul Harvest. Maybe that Blaze of Darkness, yes. And that's all. The sorcerer doesn't need that many changes to be done. It lacks a little bit of that damage and the answer to hard CCs and super armor effects. We don't have the grab. If they introduce the, the grab, maybe on that soul harvest. Maybe if soul harvest had that grab, I would exchange it with the floating. This would be very, very nice. Floating is not enough here. You get the floating from other skills. You don't need to use soul harvest to get that floating. The sources really lacks the the grab effect. We cannot deal with the mages that are stuck in animation doing the CC stuff. You cannot blink around them when they do. Yeah, so this is the main problem in my opinion. So this is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you didn't. And I hope to see you soon guys. Peace.